I don't know how to start videos anymore. <laughs> There's definitely not a third port on that ever. I don't think it's like that. Um, whoa! I thought it was about to hit the planet. Could you imagine? That looked like it was heading right for us. But I was paying attention, and you can kind of see them. I don't know how well it shows up on YouTube, but... There's definitely not a third one. At- for any instant. And I'm sure it's just like that. Um... Well, I don't know, maybe- maybe you really do just- that's weird. Like, why is it timed like that, actually? Now that I think about it. Cause I... The first time I ever woke up... Um, I spent like, you know, 10 or 15 minutes walking around Timber Hearth before I paired with the statue. I'm sure that's probably like, just... For ease of gameplay, right? Cause like, why do I, why do I respawn, why do I reset to that exact moment when the orbital cannon probe goes off? Interesting. Alright, let's check the logs. There's probably new stuff. Oh, just quantum grove. There's a strange rock shard in this grove that moves when I'm not watching. It emits a signal in the quantum fluctuations frequency. I found a poem written on one of the trees in the grove. I guess that's all that's there. It's just a, a dead end. A little dead end path. Church research notes mention a quantum moon not, that no Harthian has been able to land on. Yep. Yep, sixth location. Quantum shrine. Oh, I built a shrine on the quantum moon. Said to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Let's try landing on the moon. I think that's what my plan was. I think I'm going to try landing on the moon. And if that doesn't work, then we're going to try Dark Bramble again. That was the plan. We simply have to locate said moon and then take a picture of it. Which is going to be difficult. Maybe it's not. Maybe I just do, like, that. I just do that real quick when I see it. Just get a picture of it real quick. Alright, let's try and... There's, there's the moon. Okay, so let's just go ahead and shoot a probe. I'm gonna lead my shot here. It's not that important, but... Is that good enough? Let's test it. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so it's locked in. It's locked in because we've got a picture of it. Oh, I have lock on today. That helps a whole lot. I do need to visit... I need to go back to, um, Ash Twin. Actually, let's do that. Instead of Dark Bramble. As soon as landing on the moon, like, fails. Then... <gasps> I'm going into the sun! <laughs> oh my gosh! No, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up. Oh, the stupid... Autopilot is gonna burn my ship up. Fuck, that was scary. Okay. This is probably not the best moon spawn to try and land on, apparently. Okay. We're lined up. Let's just reverse here. So it can't disappear because I've got a picture of it. So I should be able to actually land on it now, I think. Let's do landing cam. What the fuck? That's not the moon. Where the fuck did the moon go? Hello? But I've got a picture of it. 
<laughs> but, but I've got a picture of it. Where's the moon? It did disappear. It's there now. Okay, so I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think having a picture works for the, the moon. For landing on the moon anyway. Which is weird, I don't know why. Let's try one more time real quick. Alright, we'll try autopilot again. Oh shit, right. I forgot to take a picture. Oh, that sucks. I mean, we still got plenty of time before Ash Twin actually, like, gets low enough. Maybe we don't. Maybe I should just go straight to Ash Twin. Let's just, let's just do Ash Twin. Let's visit the Sun Station. Cause that's something like concrete that I know that I can progress with. I'm not just gonna be like fucking around trying to land on the quantum moon or getting lost in Dark Bramble. Although I feel like I do just need to go to Dark Bramble. Like it seems like at this point, there's never gonna be anything that explains to me how to navigate Dark Bramble, and I just have to go there. Alright, there's the Sun Tower. Oh, I think, I think we're gonna be just in time here. Oh, that was hard. That was hard. I actually need to get out really fast. Wait. Get out. Oh, I think I'm too slow, actually. Well, I think I'm too slow. Ah! <laughs> oh, I was too slow. You gotta be so much earlier <laughs> than I thought. I thought I had a ton of time, but it turns out I did not. I did not have a ton of time. Alright, if the moon is orbiting Timber Hearth, then I will go try and um, land on it. If I see it around Timber Hearth. Because that can be like real quick. Did I learn anything? Oh, my discovered a, a species of four-eyed semi-aquatic life forms in the waterways near the mine. Yeah. I don't know why sometimes it opens in map mode and sometimes it doesn't. Alright. Where's this moon? It is not here. So let's just go to Ash Twin. Oh, it's around Dark Bramble. I see it over there. But we want to go to Ash Twin. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we're fine. All right, bright and early. Now let's just wander this desert until... <laughs> wander around on this desert. Until the sands start dissipating. Maybe I should have done something else. Oh, this is kind of fun.
Just hopping around. Okay, sand started. That's good. I'm just gonna orbit it as fast as possible. Okay, already we're going too fast and <laughs> I've I've left the atmosphere. Atmosphere. Ow. I just gotta wait until the towers start showing up. And this this sand laser beam um, travels along the towers. I don't know why they would have built the towers like right where the sand sucks but they should start showing up somewhere around here. I think I came too early. I should have tried the quantum moon again. Oh there's one. Not the sun tower, but that is one of them. There's the sun tower. Okay. Perfect. We just got to find the door as soon as possible. Maybe I should have brought the ship over here first. Oh, well. That's the wrong side. Okay, got to get over here. Hopefully it lets me in before the sand gets here. It's not going to, is it? Where's the door? <laughs> Where's my door? I have to back off. Alright, do your thing. I can wait. That's gotta be the door there. Oh shit, I'm kinda inside it. That was scary. I didn't think it was so wide. Alright, here we go. Got all the time in the world. What? Oh, I'm standing on one of them. Ow. Okay, we made it. I'm hurt. I guess, I guess let's go to the sun station. I have to wait till this lines up with the sun though. Oh, there it is. There's the station. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. We're here. Two hundred eighty-one thousand forty-two years ago, no user commands received for ten minutes. All systems entering sleep. So it's been two hundred. Almost 300,000 years since the Nomai were here. 
I feel like... Could we have really evolved from little fish guys in 300,000 years? Maybe. Six minutes? 55 seconds ago. Increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Oh yeah. Increased solar activity. Yeah, because the sun explodes and swallows the sun station pretty soon, actually. Full integrity, approaching critical levels, closing emergency doors. And that happened, like, basically immediately, I guess. Seven minutes ago. What does this say? Warning, opens emergency door. Well, I mean, I think that's all I've got. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, this is like that dead space level. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad. Made it. Let's read this before we die. Pi, mission, science compels us to explode the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. There's a better one. Mission, determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does, Idea. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Whoa. Why are they blowing up the sun? What purpose could that serve? I mean, I know they need power. Maybe that's all it is? It's just to generate power? Oh, excuse me. There's another statue here, but the eyes are closed. So somebody else could pair with this, I guess? Is that what that means? There's some crazy music happening. An unpaired Nomai statue? Is that all I'm supposed to see here? Alright, I guess, um... Well, I came from down there, didn't I? Is that... That's all that's here? That's all that's at the sun station? No, I came from out there. I didn't come from down here. Star has reached end of natural life cycle. Now approaching red giant stage. Warning, evacuate sun station. Approximate time till sun station is destroyed by expanding star. 2 minutes, 24 seconds. Approximate time until star's death. 13 minutes, 54 seconds. So there's like 20 minutes in a cycle, I guess, somewhere around there. But I've got so much more to discover. Give me this. The Ash Twin Project, I need to know. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired Yero, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes but they were barely visible even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how to start over. Return to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching this star system that we'd like to investigate. Uh-oh. Pi, I hurt for you, my friends. We all know how hard you've worked. Oh, you've both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Idea? We're well, Yero, or as well as can be expected given the circumstances. Though disappointed, 
I may have dis disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hoped our terrible work was finished. Okay, I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time. I need this thing. It's getting close. It's getting really close. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's three. There's definitely three. I think it's I think it's time, my friends. The quantum or that's the sun and the eye of the universe. What does that mean? Is one or the other? All right, it's it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. I don't have time to get out, I don't think. Let's just watch. Let's just watch. Well, that's what this guy did. Hey buddy, you mind if I sit next to you? It's a nice view. You come here often? You doing anything later? We could go hang out. What does that mural mean? We have to balance the sun and the eye of the universe. Okay, maybe I had time to escape. <laughs> this is kind of taking longer than I expected. Let's just, let's just go check this thing. Does it update? Zero minutes, 16 seconds, okay. I wanna see what happens. Don't worry, buddy. I'm seeing this thing through. Yeah, it's, it's starting to consume the tips there. Oh, there we go. Well, I think we got all the information out of it, at least. They tried to blow up the sun. To... To what? Why? To power the Ashtwin project? I don't remember. Maybe I need to look at the ship logs more. I don't remember why they needed so much power. I think it was for the Ashtwin project, right? Or to like, try and go back. Was it just to go back 22 minutes? The sun station was designed to make the sun go supernova. The Nomai fired the sun station, but it had no effect on the sun. They concluded that the sun station could never cause the sun to go supernova. After the failure of the sun station, the Nomai took a break to investigate the newly arrived comet. According to a Nomai computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. That doesn't seem right. <clears throat> Like, sure, the sun reaching the end of its natural life cycle and all that, but, like, it takes a long time to go from, like, the regular sun to red giant and then, and then go supernova afterward, right? Surely it doesn't actually happen that quickly. Where did I read that again? Where was the sun station? Sun station there. Oh yeah, and then they investigated the comet, and that's when... Like, Pi and... Poke... Went to the comet. I think there was somebody else there, but... I don't remember. And they... Saw that there was like, you know, the the death fog or whatever it's called ghost ghost matter 
and then it exploded, and I assume that's what killed everybody in the solar system and wiped out all of um, all of the Nomai. But then that begs the question, how did we survive? If we were already like little fish guys that were just starting to evolve from there, then like what, how did, how did we survive? Wouldn't it have just like completely killed everything and life had, would have had to start over from single cell organisms? I don't know. Okay, I think um, it might be Dark Bramble next. I think it's Dark Bramble is our only real like lead. Old settlement, escape out one. I kind of want to find where it talks about um, like why they need the sun station. No, I wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible, they concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. Ash Twin was proposed as a location for the project. Oh, you know what? It's 22 minutes. 22 minutes is the length of the loop. I mean, it's gotta be, because like... It's too close to not line up like that. So... What? How does that work? 22 minutes is the length of the loop. I don't know. That's all I've got. I don't really know like what that means for us. Oh perfect, that's what I was hoping for. Okay, that's like a pretty good picture. I think I think we're safe there. Oh, not the sun. Yes. Alright, so we gotta land on one of the poles. Is the poles just like... No, the pole has to be here. This has to be the pole. I've got a picture of you. You are not allowed to move. So let me land on you. You have to land on the south pole. I don't know what pole this is. Hang on. I don't know what pull this is. I'm gonna try the other one. I'm gonna try this one. Just to see. <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit. I did it. Oh shit, I did it. Oh, wait. If I ever, like, not... If I ever don't see this... <laughs> is it gonna disappear? No, I want my scout launcher. Oh, shit. Hang on. Can I put on the suit from behind myself? No, I can't. If I look away, am I not going to be here anymore? This looks like Timber Hearth. Does it like take on the aspect of the planet that it's currently orbiting when you land? I have to look away. There's no other way to do it. Unless I can just... Oh, well, I'm seeing it here. So that should be fine. Just take little baby steps. <laughs> well, I'm on it. I can't see how I would look away from it. Oh, shit. 
What happened to you, my friend? Oh, okay, we landed on the quantum moon. This is big. And it looks like Timber Hearth. Oh. Whoops. Oh. Yeah, I suppose everything's... Does that mean my ship is gone? Ship? Okay, that's Brittle Hollow. Is that the Quantum Cave? And that's the Tower on Giant Steep? So we need the knowledge from all of these in order to navigate? Except I don't remember what we learned here. <laughs> I don't remember what we learned from the Tower of Knowledge. Okay, so we're we're orbiting Timber Hearth right now. Oh, this changes it, I bet. If we close this, and then maybe this turns off the light. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. What does this do? That turns on the light. Okay. Oh, shit. We could just... Could we really just go to the eye of the universe right now? Is that what this is? Would I be skipping a bunch of stuff? Because, like, I never found spell Feldspar. Oh, there's words here. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Yep, got that. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Yep, 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 yep. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Oh, okay. I'm scared. Like, I don't know if I'm ready for this. What if it, like, what if it ends the game? And I never figured out Bramble. Dark Bramble. Well, maybe it'll let me keep playing afterward, right? I don't even know if this is the end. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, we're here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm not ready. <laughs> what is this? What is this? We know Van Gogh painting? That's what the eye of the universe is? It's starry night? Oh shit. Okay, maybe there's still more. Maybe there's still more to discover. Right? I'm trying to, like, look away from stuff to see if it'll move, but... Maybe there was something more about the rule of the sixth location that I'm forgetting. Or do I just have to be, like, up against this rock? Let's turn the lights off. And then, like, touch this rock. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Oh, wait, it's light. Why is it light? Huh? Oh, because this is open still? Yeah, okay, it's because that's still open. So... Alright, let's, let's get out. Let's get out and, and think about this a little bit more, I guess. My ship has to be gone. Is it because I'm not... Why don't I have a HUD? Oh, because I'm not in my spacesuit. 
Is it because I'm not at the uh, North Pole? Is that why? I really should have put on my spacesuit. That was pretty dumb of me. I think I might have to redo this. I wonder if one of these planets is gonna like kill me because I don't have a spacesuit on and I'm just gonna suffocate. Alright, let's try somewhere else. I need some place that will actually let me get to... the North Pole. But I don't know if it's I don't know if I can. This is so cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. I'm going to try climbing up here. Please. I don't think I can get all the way up. And even if I do, I think I'm going to lose sight of the planet. And the whole thing is going to disappear. I feel like it's getting darker over here. Oh! That's big, isn't it? That's something, isn't it? I've already read this, right? I'm here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Okay, so. We did land on the South Pole. I think that's the only place you can land. And you have to just journey toward the North Pole. Is that where the tower is? Or do you have to, like, know exactly where the South Pole is and then try to get the tower to spawn there? Tower? Can you answer me? Let's try to go back to um, Timurhearth. Just to see if my ship is still there. I don't see how it could be though. Oh, Giant's Deep. I just, I wanna see all of the different versions. This is so cool. Right, yeah, I forgot about that. That's the same ship, isn't it? I guess that's just gonna be on every version of the moon. So is this the North Pole? Do they all have something like blocking access to the North Pole? What if I touch this? Is that gonna... Is that gonna suck me out into space? I don't think I want that. Where's the tower? There we go. I want to find my ship. I'm, there's still hope. I'm still holding out hope that it's on the Timber Hearth version. Don't need this. There we go. 
I wonder what the dark ramble version is like. That's probably creepy. Go see if my ship is here. I think th I think this must be the North Pole. Cause like every version has something blocking you here. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate getting bumped during the jump. I think I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help me. Help. I'm stuck. No. Oh, shit. What if I do this? <laughs> I can't move. Dower, help me. I think I actually have to... I have to restart the run. Oh, man. Okay. I have to. Like, I'm stuck. There's no unstuck. There's no get unstuck button. But damn. We got some... We got some big... We got some big motions going on. We got some some big stuff happening. Quantum moon. I was able to land on the surface of the quantum moon. I found a dead Nomai in a spacesuit near the South Pole. Nomai shrine that wanders about the quantum moon. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging is inscribed next to a mural of a tower on an island. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement is dis inscribed next to a mural of a quantum shard in a cave. Recall the rule of the sixth location is inscribed next to a mural of a tower hanging above a black hole. Sixth location. We could not um, get much information out of there. So let's see, what does it say? Tower of Quantum Knowledge. No, I built the shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Okay. That's what that means. I remember. I remember not understanding what they meant by that. Like, like why the shrine was seemingly not always on the north pole. But now I get it. Because of the quantum shit. Okay. Pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. After the two groups of Nomai stranded on Ember Twin and Brittle Hall were reunited, it became their united goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. So if you manage to land on it, no matter what, you always land on the South Pole, I guess. Like, you can't land on it any other way than the South Pole. But you have to somehow get to the North Pole and get the tower to spawn there. I'm gonna try it again real quick. I don't I only have 15 minutes left in the episode. Oh uh, maybe I should save it. Maybe I shouldn't be in such a rush to see the eye of the universe. Maybe I should go to Bramble Hollow real quick. All right, I'm gonna leave us on a cliffhanger. Um, and I'm leaving myself on a cliffhanger too, so you're not allowed to complain. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna end the episode exploring Bram Dark Bramble instead of instead of going back to the Quantum Moon. <laughs> we'll see the Eye of the Universe um, next time, probably, maybe. Oh shit, I'm going too fast. Oh shit, I'm going too fast. So, um... What's the red dot? Oh my gosh! I'm dead! <laughs> Let's 
scared the crap out of me. Holy shit. Okay, so it's blind, right? So if you if you just don't make any noise, it doesn't see you. So like no thrusters, I guess is what it means. Oh, let me check the logs again. Dark Rebel. Okay, it doesn't say anything about getting past the uh, anglerfish, but it does say it somewhere in here. There. <sighs> Real anglerfish are blind. That's all the information we have. Alright, let's try again. Where are you? We're just gonna we're just gonna glide right past the sun real quick here. No big deal. Alright, let's try and slow down. There's the quantum in there. I could go back. I gotta try this again though. Maybe if I don't accidentally go in there so fast, it'll be easier. We're just going to take it nice and slow. <clears throat> Alright, there's got to be a trick to this. And I'm going to figure it out. Alright, we're just going nice and easy. I think that center one is the anglerfish. I want to go to the red dot. Distress Beacon? Have we ever gone to the Distress Beacon? Deep Sea Radio. Wow. Outer Wilds Ventures. Okay, that's him. Right? So I just need to go that way, right? What is the red dot, though? Let's just go to the red dot. Let's just take it nice and slow. Okay, we're moving. I'm not touching... I'm not touching the gas. We should be able to glide right past the anglerfish. I hope. I have to make micro-adjustments. <laughs> That's it right there. Just don't touch anything. Holy shit. That is terrifying. I'm going so slow. I should have done more. I should have done more. I should have accelerated more. That's fine. Can I, um... Oh, this is a risk. I want to just be able to, like, walk around. I mean, we're right in the red dot, though.
Is this where we want to go? Into the red one? I don't see why not. This is gonna take too long. Anglerfish is like right there. Yeah, you can still see it right there. I'm gonna have to do some adjustments to get in there though. I don't think it's that fast. I can probably make it. Oh, maybe you can look around without aggroing it. More stars. Okay, let's go. Let's go for it. Alright, are we just doing the red dot again? Oh shit, it's after me. We're going. Oh no. Oh no. You can you can touch them, right? And they they don't have any feeling either, right? <laughs> Let's just stay in our seat. There's no reason. It is kind of interesting that the uh, lights kind of disappear when you get out of the seat. I think we're like right on the money here. What is all that shit? Are those anglerfish eggs? Are they wobbling? What is this? They must be anglerfish eggs. I'm just gonna bump right into him, I guess. Bonk. Okay, um, I think I need to get... trying to see if I can like force it to move <laughs> by just looking around I don't think so oh okay there's something there there was like a little centipede or something go up please for the love of god so is this the center of dark bramble What is this for? This does seem to be. But I don't know what this means. I don't know what these eggs are. Are there multiple ways to get out of here? Let's just, um, let's just go where. Let's just go where we see Feldspar. Oh, there's nothing. There's no signal from anything. Okay, then I'm just going this way. I'm just going toward this one. Hopefully this one's not an anglerfish. It is not. Lucky, lucky. Still no signal though. 
It is out of Wild's Ventures that I need, right? I think so. Why did that one disappear? Because it's behind the root? Yeah, what the heck? Why did the other dot disappear? Oh, there it is. It keeps disappearing, though. Hey, little guy. <laughs> is that an anglerfish? I guess let's just go in here. This seems to be the same place though, so... I'm gonna head toward the right one this time. Just go straight at it. Just go straight at it. Right into the anglerfish's mouth. Seems like this one's moving. I think this one's an anglerfish. Yeah. Yeah, that's gotta be an anglerfish. Can I back up, please? Thank you. Oh shit, it hurt me. Oh shit, it hurt me. We're just, we're just noping out of here. We're just going right back in. Oh shit. Is it coming? Oh. That's my exit. Definitely the same place though. Because the anglerfish heard me and it's now chasing me into the entrance that I just went into. I guarantee if I go back out there, the anglerfish is gonna be right there. So, like, am I just stuck until I'm dead? How do I get out of this loop? Tell. All right, let's try again. Let's I don't know we can get to the center easily enough by following the So that one leads to feldspar But I swear I tried following him before and I just went deeper and deeper and never actually reached him. I think I gotta quit. I got greedy. I think I'm safe. I'll go for it. 
Oh, there's so many. What is all this? Oh no, there's a bunch of them. Hang on. So there's the center one. And then that one up there. And then that one down there. How am I supposed to know which one I go to? What's the trick for that? I guess just start at the top left. I think if this one, like, loops or whatever, and I don't make any progress toward Feldspar, I'm just calling it here. And we'll have to come back next time. Well, there's only one thing in here. That's promising, right? We do seem to be getting pretty close. Oh shit, the signal's like splitting apart here. Oh, this is it! This is it! This is the, like, ancient... Um, anglerfish. Oh shit, well, I think we got it. I think we got it. Can I please just like, where do my feldspar? Where do I park? I'm getting all messed up. Feldspar? He is there. Something is stopping me from going any further and it's driving me insane. Fuck! Feldspar, how do I park this thing? I'm just going around the back. I'll meet you around the back. Oh, what is that? I don't know if I want to be back here, actually. I'm really uncomfortable all of a sudden. Get me through. All right. There's no landing. There is no landing. This is what I'm doing. I'm going... Landing mode. I'm just sticking my fat ass right here. Hang on. Down. Down. Okay. Stop. And that's that's me parked. Okay, next time, we're going to have a chat with Feldspar. <laughs> I'll see you then.